Ethereum gas fees are getting out of hand. It can cost anywhere from $10 to $20 just to send a simple transaction and to interact with a smart contract anywhere from $30 to $100, sometimes even more. And in this video, we are going to break down exactly how Ethereum gas fees work. By the end, you're going to understand it like a professional. Also, we will be covering tips on how to save on these Ethereum gas fees. And if that sounds good to you, make sure to stick around until the end of the video and don't forget to smash the like button. Welcome aboard the Bitcoin Express. My name is Chase, let's get to it. Before we get into the tips on how to save on the gas fees, we must understand how Ethereum gas works. And the best way to understand that is by comparing it to a car. Let me show you what I mean. Over here, we have two cars and they're going to two separate places. Car number one is going on a short trip to the supermarket. They only need one gallon of gas to get there. So they go to the gas station, it is $2 a gallon and they buy one, ga one gallon. So their trip is gonna cost them $2. Now we have car number two that is going on a long trip, going away for the whole day. And they need 10 gallons of gas to get to their destination. So they go to the gas station, gas is $2 a gallon, two times 10 is $20. So that's going to be the cost of this trip. Now with Ethereum, it works very similar. With a simple Ethereum transfer, just sending it from one wallet to another, this is equivalent to a car going to the supermarket, an easy, simple trip. So it only needs one gallon, right? So you find the gas price and it's gonna be very cheap. Now when we're talking about these smart contracts, they are much more complex. And these smart contracts are the equivalent of this car that needs 10 gallons to go on a long trip. Now the thing is, if the price of gas at the gas station changes, our trip is going to cost more. This first trip here is $2, but if gas goes up to $3, this trip is gonna be $3. And our second trip, if the gas goes up to $3, will be three times 10, and that will be $30. So this is how it works with Ethereum. And depending what you wanna do, there's going to be a gas limit, right? So you have the price per gas and then a gas limit. So with a simple, easy transfer, it's gonna end up being very cheap. But with these smart contracts, as mentioned, the gas limit is going to have to be much higher because you need to go further. Remember, it's like a car driving on a trip. You need to get somewhere far and then you're gonna to have to take the price of gas at the gas station, multiply it by the gas limit, and that's how much your trip is going to cost. So in terms of Ethereum, we wanna find cheap gas prices. So there are many websites out there that show us these prices. Right now we can see 232 is the gas for standard, 268 for fast, really fast, 284. And this is measured in, in GUI, GUI. This is the smallest unit of Ethereum. Now this brings me to my first tip. Use this website to find your gas prices, ethgas.watch, because over here, they show the units in GUA, GUA, what it's going to cost, but they also show it in dollar amounts. But what I really like here is that you can put in your email and put in an alert for when you wanna be notified when gas is cheap. One of the most important things right now with Ethereum 1.0 is timing and strategy. So staying up to date and knowing when the gas fees are low is a good time to go ahead and do whatever you have to do. Now, here we are on transactionstreet.com. This is a beautiful application that helps you visualize what's going on on the Ethereum blockchain. Over here, we can see that the median contract fee right now is $31 and the median Ethereum transfer, just a simple transfer, $6.80. And right now that's actually pretty low for everything that's been going on. And over here, we can see where a lot of these transactions are coming from right here. This is from Uniswap. We see here from one inch over here from Kyber Network. And all these people are lining up, trying to get into the next block, the next car in order for their transaction to be complete. And if we click on these cars, we can see details of when it's going to be added to the blockchain. If we click over here, we can see this went 10 seconds ago. And if we scroll down the list, we can see when these are going out. This is gonna go out in about 35 seconds. So if you're sending a simple transfer, this is the second tip, a simple transfer that you don't need to be done immediately, right? You're sending Ethereum from one wallet to another and you're not planning on selling it. You're just sending it plain and simple. You don't need to get into these next blocks, right? You can scroll down here and see these other 
fees going on here. And just by scrolling down, you start getting 10%, 20%, 30% savings. And you can click on the box and see when is it going to go out. This will take 58 seconds. You just scroll down. But you don't want to go too low. If you go too low, and then the transaction will not go through. And I'm going to show you how you can edit it in MetaMask Wallet. And in showing you how we're going to edit our transaction, it's going to bring us to our next tip. If you're going to do a swap, right, you want to trade one Ethereum based token for another, you can go to each individual decentralized exchange, but you can do this within the MetaMask wallet. If you click over here on the swap feature, it will help you get the best price across multiple exchanges. So if I put Ethereum in here and I want to transfer it for another token, we'll put Chainlink, I do get quotes. It's now going to scan across multiple networks and find me the best price. We have Paraswap over here, then it's going to go through Curve, it's going to go through Uniswap, and the list goes on. So it's going to bring us to this screen, and we're going to see the network fee is insane. $103 worth of Ethereum, which is insane. Obviously, I'm not going to complete this transaction. Now, if we go over here, we can edit the network fee. If we do edit, it'll show us average and fast, right? but we can get more advanced. We can go into right over here, the tab advanced, and then knowing what we know now, we can go back to those Ethereum gas stations where we were looking, how long does it take to get onto the next bus, the Ethereum transaction street visualizer, and we can start changing our price. So if we see that this is 227, we can go and look and see, do we really need to get onto the next block? Are we doing a simple transaction? Do we need this to be executed immediately? And if not, we can lower this. And as mentioned, we will sometimes spot price differences that will save us 10, 20, 30%. Let me show you that again. So back here on the visualizer, we can see 197 GUA, now 211 on the next one. If we just go over here, we see 176 GUA. So already we're getting a big discount. Remember, it depends what we're doing simple transactions, things that don't need immediate execution, you can go a little lower. Sometimes you will spot very good deals. You might look at the first, second, third block, and then suddenly you will see a major drop off. But remember what I said, if it is too low, it may not be executed and you still will lose some of your gas. Think about a car that wants to go on a 10 mile trip or they need 10 gallons of gas. But in the beginning of the trip, they say, you know what, I don't want to go anymore. They drove one mile and they want to stop. They already used up that gas. They can't get it back, but they still have all the other gas left over. So this is something that could happen if you set the fee too low. Now, if you do have an important transaction, of course, you want to get into the first block. So you will pay a higher fee. Let's say that in the beginning, you made a mistake and you made the fee very low and you really need it to speed up. Well, within the MetaMask wallet, you can speed it up. If you just go into your transaction, you'll see that you can click on speed up and you can increase the gas fee or you could also cancel it. But remember what we said, even if you cancel it, if it's been pending for quite some time, there will be a little bit of gas that will be lost. Remember, it's the car that was supposed to go on a long trip, but it ended up only driving one mile and burned one mile of gas. So far, we have been focusing on simple transactions, but now we need to address the people out there that are making large and important transactions. And we need to talk about slippage. Slippage occurs when you go ahead and you make an order, but the order doesn't get executed at the price that you want. Remember, we're dealing with highly volatile assets, Ethereum and Ethereum based tokens. You might go ahead and say you want to buy it at a certain price or sell it at a certain price, but then in 10 seconds, in 20 seconds, it can all change and you can lose thousands and thousands of dollars. And what people do is they go on to these decentralized exchanges and they're going to trade 10, 20, $30,000. And then for some reason they become very cheap with the fees and they do a slow fee or a normal fee. But what I'm going to say sounds counterproductive at first. If you're going to make a large important transaction, pay the highest fee to get into the first block. Remember, you can use all of these websites, ETH Gas Watch, you can use the ETH Visualizer. You want to get onto the first block. Why? This is to prevent yourself from being the victim of slippage. You'll pay more upfront, but you'll save more in the end of the day. If you are dealing with thousands and thousands of dollars and then you're being cheap and you want the slow fee and it takes two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes for that to be executed, a lot can change in that time and you're going to lose a lot of money. And I know people 
have been a victim of this because they've been messaging me. Don't be cheap when it comes to Ethereum tra transaction fees when you're dealing with a large amount of money. Just go for the first block. And what I really like about Uniswap in particular, if you're buying or tr trading within their application, over here in the upper right corner, in the settings, you can actually set the slippage tolerance, right? So if it changes, for example, right now, by more than 5% while you're trying to get your order added to the blockchain, then it won't execute, right? You can set it to 0.1, but it says over here, your transaction may fail. You can do it at 1%. And of course you can do custom even more, which I wouldn't recommend. But even if you go in between 0.1 and 0.5, 0.3, it'll say your transaction may fail. But at least it gives you the feature so that you are not the victim of slippage because people lose thousands of dollars due to slippage. Make sure don't be cheap when you're sending out a transaction. And by the way, I've seen this with Bitcoin as well. People want to send a Bitcoin transaction and one fee might cost them $8, but then they set it to $1, right? Because they want to save money. But in the end of the day, all they're really getting is a headache. They're going to have a transaction stuck on the blockchain and it could take days, weeks, or even months for them to get that back. So don't be cheap with transaction fees when it comes to important transactions, right? And this is actually a funny tip, I would say, because you're not actually saving on the fee, but overall you're saving in general, just overall. But anyways, a lot of people are not happy with what I had to say in this video. They're saying this still does not work. The thing is we are not going to completely eliminate these gas fees the way Ethereum is right now. The best we can do is reduce it 10%, 20%, 30%, maybe if we're lucky, 40 or 50% off. The reason is because there's just too much demand on the network right now. It's not going to be fixed in Ethereum 1.0, but hopefully it will be fixed with Ethereum 2.0. Ethereum 2.0 will have something called sharding. And with sharding, the Ethereum blockchain will be split up into multiple portions called shards. And by doing this, this will increase the transactions per minute, and it also will decrease transaction fees. And on top of that, we have EIP 1559 that should be coming out soon, and it will stabilize the gas fees. And if you wanna know more about EIP 1559, I did make a video on it, go ahead and check it out. Now, in the meantime, while Ethereum is working on getting these fees lower for everyone without having to do any tips or any tricks, there are other competing blockchains out there. One in particular that people are focusing on is Cardano. Now, I still think that Ethereum has a lead because they have the network effect, but I like the competition. I want the best product to win. I think Ethereum still has time. You know, if they do this within a year or two, they will do very well. But if they don't, someone will probably come along and dethrone them, right? I'm a big fan of the competition. I want the best blockchain to win in the end of the day. I hope this video helped. I hope you're out there saving 10, 20, 30% on your Ethereum gas fees. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.